Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown from Adobe Systems, and this is The Russell Brown Show. In this tutorial, I'm going to be discussing image adjustments with Adobe Photoshop Mix. I'm going to add, in this case, in Photoshop Mix, an additional layer that brightens up the sky, as you see here. Then I will continue to add an additional layer that adds a lens flare effect right there. And this lens flare is from the Adobe Stock Library. Let's get started over in Adobe Lightroom Mobile, where I do my initial adjustments to my images. Let's switch right over there right now. So here we are with this original image from Pfeiffer Beach with a great surfer by the name of Sean Tract. He's entering the ocean, I'm capturing the sunset, and the lighting was really fantastic. I'm going to start this whole process here in Lightroom Mobile for adjusting an iPhone image. The first thing I'm going to adjust might be highlights, right here. Tapping on highlights, and I'm going to increase the highlights overall within this image. Here is a really fantastic super user tip and technique. Tap with two fingers right on the control bar here, and then move left and right, and you can preview those areas that are being clipped here within the highlights. This same technique will work for blacks, whites, shadows, highlights, and exposure. So give this technique a try. Next, I'm going to select my shadows and open those up a little bit by moving this to the right, just like that. You can see as I move to the left and the right, I can start to open up the shadows and give a little bit more detail to the surfer and to the surfboard, and of course the foreground. Another thing I like to adjust is clarity. Typically, I'll add more clarity to an image, but in this case, I want to add less clarity and a minus value. I want to create this haze along the horizon. It really adds a nice quality to this image. This looks great. I'm going to add one more thing. I'm going to add a little bit of vibrance, just like this, because it's bringing up the colors here in the reflection of the sunlight here in the surf. I could continue to make additional adjustments, but this is a great start. I'm now going to copy this image into Adobe Photoshop Mix. Here from the upper right hand corner, I'm tapping on this icon. Then right here, I'm going to select Open In, right there. It will prepare the image, and then it will allow you to export a copy, simply by selecting this icon, Copy to Photoshop Mix, right there. Okay, here we are inside of Photoshop Mix, and I can add additional layers and effects here. The first thing we're going to do is duplicate the existing layer. It's a great technique, tapping here on the layer and selecting Duplicate. Then down here, I'm going to select Looks, right there. This allows me to select one of the default looks that's built into Photoshop Mix. In this case, I'm selecting Brighten. It works really nicely for this effect because I want to brighten the horizon right there around the sun. I'm going to select the checkbox to accept this. However, there's too much light across the image. So I want to use the cutout feature to blend the light values near the horizon into the rest of the image. I'm going to select cutout right down here. Notice down here at the base that I'm in my basic brush mode. The Smart Selection will do Edge Detection, whereas the Basic Selection turns that off and lets you make a simple selection or basic selection of your image. I'm going to tap away from that. Over here, you'll notice that I'm adding to my selection. I can simply paint right here on the screen, just like that, and you see the area that I'm cutting out or selecting. Up here in the upper right-hand corner, we want to view all of our layers, Tapping right there, I can see all of my layers. Now here's the fantastic part about this, because I can feather this current selection. Here by tapping and holding on feather, and in this case, I'm sliding it all the way over to the right with a feather edge value of 100. I can go in and continue to make an additional selection, and as you can see, I can make this horizon glow and I can add a little bit more light here to the reflection in the water. You get to paint with light. This is really incredible. 
So it's just targeting those areas where I want additional light. Fantastic. Remember, I can come back and readjust this later because it's a non-destructive adjustment. I'm going to tap here on the lower right-hand corner to accept those changes. Let's finish this off with my lens flare. I'm going to tap here on the plus sign over here to the right and add a lens flare. Now this lens flare is from the Adobe Stock Library. You can tap here on the Adobe Stock Library icon and you could type in, for example, lens flare effects, just like that. If you're connected to the internet, then you can go out and look for a variety of different lens flare effects, as you see here. You can then license a copy of these effects. I licensed one earlier and loaded it here on my iPad. I'm going to go back to my images right here and load the image. If you had selected it directly from the Adobe Stock Library, it would have automatically been placed into your project as its own layer. It's really fantastic. Now I can tap with two fingers here on my image, rotate and scale it into position. However, I need to see how this is going to look as it interacts with the image. So I'm going to blend this image into the background using a blend mode called screen. To access that, I'm selecting blend here from the base right there and selecting screen. And when you select the screen blend mode, it makes the darker values of this layer disappear and the lighter values then show through. If I select the check mark here to the lower right, I can then accept those changes and then I can move this around and change its size. I'm going to rotate it a bit more so that the lens flare goes up there into the sky. This looks great. However, there are a few problems. I can see the edge of this image here in the upper left hand corner. And the color of the light is all wrong. It's blue and I want it to be warmer. Let's go right over here to adjust right here by tapping there. Then to the upper right hand corner again to view all of our layers. And let's adjust the contrast by tapping contrast. I'm going to tap and move the contrast to the right and the edges have disappeared. Perfect. Sometimes I have to use exposure adjustments in combination with contrast to get rid of the edges, but this looks great. Let's get rid of that blue cast to this light. Tapping on saturation, I can then tap and desaturate that blue value and now I have a nice warm value to this. Wow! I'm done. I select the check mark in the lower right hand corner and I have finished my project. I started in Adobe Lightroom Mobile with my initial adjustments. I exported it into Adobe Photoshop Mix and added these two additional layers right here. Give this technique a try and continue to follow along in my series of tutorials which is all about mobile photography.